By day, he's a mild-mannered shopkeeper, but by night, he's an adventurer going into procedurally generated dungeons and solving sexy crimes. Uh, possibly. Uh, so this is Moonlighter. It's a lovely, charming little game coming out uh, at the end of May for um, PC, PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, thanks for the key goes to um, 11-Bit Studios and Digital Sun uh, developers. And yes, this is um, we're going to play a bit of it. This is post-tutorial. and I've left Old Man Tutorial behind. Um, and we're now going to go, because it's night time, we're going to go into the dungeons and start fighting. So in we go. So basically, like these dungeons are like um, legendary dungeons that have appeared, um, and um, a village like built up around them to like have adventurers go fight in the dungeons. But the dungeons proved too much, and uh, the village is now like um, in a state of disrepair. Um, but I'm running a shop, and I'm trying to improve things, get the village going again by selling stuff in my shop, improving my shop, and hopefully attracting more lads, NPCs to the village, and everything will be good. World will be saved. All right, so let's start actually tonking. Uh, this is the first time I've been in the dungeons, well, post-tutorial. There's a little bit of tutorial action at the start, um, and also a bit of a plot dump. We won't go into that too much. Uh, right, so here we go. I'm not sure, um, because this is, this is still so like um, um, setting the scene, so I'm not quite sure how... Um, oh, bollocks! Hang on, let's... Ah, yeah. So I'm not quite sure how random this particular dungeon is. I've already played through the first like half an hour before, so I'm just coming back to pretty much the start again. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. So all this stuff that I'm collecting is going in my uh, knapsack. Um, I can't actually open it at the moment, possibly because we're still sort of in Tutorial City. Oh, hello. Um, but everything that I collect, I could theoretically sell. Oh, shite. Hang on. <laughs> um, let's keep my shield up. These are actually quite tough early baddies, these. Um, I'm going to try and lure them over here. Shield up. Tonk. Gotcha. Oh, dicks. Even with my shield up, he was a... Um, or maybe I should time it a bit better. And you can also roll to, to do a bit of dodging action like that. Uh, there we go, that's more like it. I need to tonk these in the, so we can actually get anywhere. There we go, pick up more stuff. Can I now open my... No, I can't. Anyway, let's get some, let's get some slimes dealt with. Hmm. Not the best room. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Roll. Oh, yep, I've just healed. Um, unintentionally, but actually probably didn't need to do that. Ah, yes, I've been here before. Right. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my name is... Um, <laughs> my time is short. My name is short as well by co complete coincidence. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. Uh, my pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Uh, check him out, though. Uh, lads, I better, I'd say I fared better than him. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this. Map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. And they called me crazy. He said, oh, crazy Pete Dungon lost his marbles. But I was right. Um, each Guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of, oh no, uh, Reinecke. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologise for the smell. Uh, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the door, lads. Uh, these dungeons are not what they seem. Oh, I've got some sticks. <laughs> uh, high quality sticks. Big boss gonna kill me! I suppose to let them all out. Now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. Right, and here's the diagram. So... Four dungeons, four keys. Um, should I unlock the middle thing in me, Bob? Of Reinecke. And stuff! Right, so it's saying, like, get um, get five stuffs and your pendant will activate by holding down B and you'll teleport back to your shop, is what it's saying. So just gather everything that I need to. See if there's anything else around. There isn't. Press. Oh, no, I've got to go across there. Roll! Grab you, grab you. Anything for tonking? Nope. Don't think you can do anything with this. So it's time to get out of here. Press B. Activate the pendant. Turn into green jelly. Escaped with pendant. And I've got a big um, load of stuff in my bag. Uh, from what I remember, um, if um, if you die, you lose all the stuff in your backpack, but not that's on your person, I think. Meanwhile, in the daytime... It's going to be time to start selling things now. Oh, it's Old Man Tutorial. He's back. 
Um, I'm not in control at the moment. Um, Xenon. Um, ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. Um, you look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding, you prick? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found old Pete. Dead? See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Leave it. <laughs> you slag. <laughs> Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. You prick. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. He's got over Pete quickly, hasn't he? <laughs> some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalise this town. Apparently they need some startup capital. They mean my cash. It would be nice to see some new life around here. Nice indeed. Miladio. You prick. And off he goes to whatever old man tutorials actually do. Right, so there's a little notice board for us. So a bit of a roll around the shop. Hey. So there's not really much we can do with this at the moment. Um, this, will be, this costs 500 quid. Uh, and then we'll get a blacksmith's forge going on. So this is very much like, you know, the whole shopkeep type thing. The whole shopkeep type thing is becoming a flourishing genre in itself, isn't it? Shopkeep 2 came out recently. And also one that's very similar to it. Um, I can't even remember the name. <laughs> uh, shop upgrades. Shop level 1, 2, 3 and 4. That, that costs a cool quarter of a mil. Uh, that's 8 thou. Hmm. Not going to be doing anything anything with these anytime soon. So we need more cash, which I guess means we need to start selling more stuff in our shop. You do get a brief tutorial to how to do this. Uh, you basically need to um, find the right price to sell things at. Uh, this, for instance, is what we're told has been is actually um, priced too high. So we could do with changing that. Apparently 100 quid it's sold. I mean, we, at the start we, we, we saw that 100 quid sells well, 200 quid sells too much, so... Um, I've placed it back and it's already taken it down to 100, which is like the, the recommended price, but... Uh, let's go down there, press up. But I do know that um, from my previous um, attempt, that selling it a bit more expensive will probably do. I also think I'll try and sell some of these Golem cores, because they seem to do quite well. I think you can get a, a pretty penny for these. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I've literally only just discovered you can um, yeah, do that. I, I was doing it like one at a time previously. Um, I think... I can probably sell these for quite a lot, so let's try at 150. I tried at 50 before and they were absolutely delighted. See what else I can sell. Oh, hang on. Oh, no! <laughs> 100,000 quid? No, perhaps not. Okay. I can I can sell, like, several at a time if I wanted to. I'm not quite sure if that if they um, if that means they, um, they try to buy it all at once or not. So let's have a go. Water sphere. There's other stuff as well. Like I've tried to sell uh, like these roots and these vines, and they don't sell for very much money at all. Uh, things only stack to ten. Let's try to sell one of these. Let's try and get a, an idea of what price this is going to be. Let's again. Let's go high as possible to start with. Uh, maybe a bit more teeth stone. Not sure what that is. Let's just let's say again. Just sell one. Set it at a price of I have no idea. Um, maybe fifty. Um, and this is my sort of like um, uh, guidebook so far. This is what, I've, um, what I know about. So let's go back. So we at the moment, if you look on the right, we don't, we haven't actually tried selling any of these, so we don't know what people like, how people react to it. Um, but Golem Core we haven't found yet. We have sold something. Where the hell is this? The Crystallized Energy. We've tried to get it at 100 quid and people were quite happy. And we tried to get 200 quid and people were upset, so we already know that. And there's also a popularity thing, like if you sell too many of the certain things, you have to start selling it at a cheaper price. All right, anyway, let's actually start trying to um, sell some gubs to our lads and see what they say. First of all, we've got some, someone who's um, not really even checking our stuff out. She's just going to warm herself by the fire. Maybe she's a trap. Oh, there she is. No, she's, she's not. She doesn't care. Oh, here we go. Look, old man is looking at the... The core and it's too expensive. Where okay, so the um the crystallized energy is fine. The thing on the bottom right is terrible, and the thing on the top right, the bottom right was terrible. Top right was good. I have to just sell, 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 sell. Um, right, that's it. So, God, okay, so we that will have been added to our book. So let's just have a quick look. Suddenly, so it's, it's going really urgent all of a sudden. Who knew shopping was so exciting? Right, so, 
What did we actually sell there? This is stuff from the Golem dungeon, so it's all grouped together. So the water spear, I sold for 50 quid and it was ludicrously um, underpriced by the looks of it. Uh, Golem core. Oh, 150 is too much. Okay, so I'll try to get 50 quid in my previous go, so that probably. I'll take that down to about 100. And maybe put the water sphere up to 100. And I think we should be good. Um, let's see, let's some, place some more stuff down. Right, change this to 100 quid. Still three left. Which should be fine. Now we'll try putting the water spear up at 100. In fact, actually, um, let's try um, going again, going really high, 150. See if they actually accept that. This is needs to be taken down a peg or two. Let's take it down to 20 quid. Let's see what people think now. The old woman's looking at the, the snaggletooth. 20 quid. Still too expensive. All right, so they're, they're obviously just a, a load of old tur. Does he agree? He does agree. Yeah, those are way overpriced. I'm not going to sell anything cheap and nasty at this place. This is going to be a... Oh, he likes that. The car is good at 100. Has he bought three? Flippin' heck, he's bought three. Ooh. What about my water spear? Nope. Yeah, that, I think she was upset as well. Let's quickly whack the price down to 100. I'm using controller for this, which is, doesn't feel necessarily ideal, but for this bit, but is really good for the adventurers bit. Um, take that down. Nine. But yeah, the Golem Spear stuff, that's definitely going to go. I think, I'm, in fact, I, could, I reckon I could tweet that up to 120. I think people would be happy. As for other stuff, there really isn't much other stuff that looks any good. Glass lenses, they might be. Um, they sound like they might be um, worth something. Let's try that at a, a nice round 100. See what people think now. I think once we've done this little tranche of shopping, I think I'll go outside. Nope, the Snaggletooths are still terried. I'm just not going to sell those. Obviously, piss. What about the glasses? She's looking. Oh, she likes that. That's about right price as well, because it's she's not overjoyed. She just thinks it's a fair price. So that's obviously a good price. Let's sell that. Matey boy is liking my cores at 120 quid, so that's obviously a good price. Feels like it's getting dark. I think it is. Well, no one's going to get... No, she's not, no, he's not going to get the um... Oh, what's he want? He's a new one. He's an adventurer. I think we're going to stop se just stop selling these pieces of bollocks. He's a shit and can piss off. In fact, everyone, get out! <laughs> get out of my shop. I can't help but notice that you're lingering. You're malingering, some might say. What do you want? Oh, there's, there's a little chest here, so I'm going to... Put all my bloody snaggletooths in there. Uh, how can we actually quick move? Right bumper. There we go. Iron bars probably piss as well. Vine. Whetstone vine. More teeth stone. God, they're all over the shop. Vine and... I mean, all that's just a load of old tut. And broken sword. Fabric. And... Ooh, rich jelly! Huh, might be something. And uh, this is just this diagram again. I don't like the fact that he's still in here. What does he want? Okay, I just reloaded that um, because of a... I think it was a bug. Um, but, yeah, this is a pre-release version, so... Occasionally things like that might happen. Right, so this is um, this is the same old night. Um, and we just need to go back to the dungeon, I think. And we could have a bit of a look around, actually. Just have a bit of a chat to see if anyone's got anything interesting to say. Here's old man tutorial. Boy, Ranaka has seen better days when your grandfather first opened Moonlighter... Uh, people from all over the lands would come and visit the shop. Uh, the hustle and bustle was constant, but now it's a bit piss, is the unspoken thing. Still wants to get us doing this. Oh, I've actually got a thousand quid now. Uh, which means I could actually theoretically buy both of these. The wooden hat as well. Is brute force getting you nowhere? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and or that. And here's the shocked blacksmith, so let's grab you. Hello, blacksmith. Oh, 
Ooh. And <laughs> the shocked blacksmith. Oh, he's saying, oh. Anyway, I think we can actually um, do the other thing as well. Get you. And now we have our little potionarium. Oh, he's the builder guy. Okay, so he's the builder. And then the other uh, person will move in. And there she is. Uh, bye, builder. Just a little walk on part, but, you know, gets the job done. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at our potionarium. Eris, she's called. <laughs> she's, she's looking at us askance. Give you a side eye. Oh, a customer. My apologies, it's just this book is so good. Okay, yes, I am Eris, weaver and potion master. Come to the wooden hut when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want? The craft today. So this will be the crafting thing. Oh, right. I was wondering where this was going to kick in. So we do need some gunk. Um, I actually have some. I've, I've got two of this, so I could craft a tasty little potion here. Oh, well, that also costs cash. I've got ten quid. Unfortunately, I spent it all on your shop, love. Oh, that's 118 quid for the recipe. Huh. Hmm. What else is there? There's actually loads of potions. 15,000! So this is actually just buying the recipe so I can sell them in my shop or do I actually get to keep these things? I think I get to keep them, but... So, enchantments, meanwhile. Nothing we can do here, probably. Required three, own zero. Okay. Fine. Something to do later on. I think once we've got some more cash and once we've done more adventuring. Okay, I'll talk to him. Have you found any cultural artifacts in the dungeons? Well, I always find it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be enti from entirely different civilizations with different cultures. Yeah, you would, mate. There's, oh, there's, there's the well. Let's see if we can jump in it. No, this is not Swords of Ditto. Where's that other shop? The blacksmithery. There it is. Hey, you may be- I'm not going to do that voice. You must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre, a forge master extraordinaire and incredibly shocked person. I think maybe he's been goosed from behind. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's forge is the place. Oh, here's another screen to understand. Armor. So what's this? Recipe 4,000 quid. I've already got one set. Is this a more advanced one? Oh, this is- oh, okay. I've actually got most of the stuff there. So Rusty Short Sword adds 40 attack. That, presumably that's just worse than the Soldier Short Sword. <laughs> Whatever. Big Sword. Uh, need 10 wood. One sword. Uh, okay. Buster Big Sword. Wild Big Sword. Vulcan Big Sword. And various other things as well. None of which I can really afford at the moment because I've only got 10 quid. So I think it's time to actually go um, adventuring then. See if we can actually get some more trove. So this will be our first actual proper dungeon, I think, then. Roll. <laughs> oh, no, that's completely the wrong way. That's um, in here. I believe, I don't know, because I haven't actually tried, but I believe you can, all, you can go in the daytime or the nighttime into the dungeons, but nighttime is when you should go, because there's better treasure. But I might be wrong. So now it's just creating our procedurally generated Zelda dungeon for the lads. Right, so Golem Dungeon level number one. Tonk. There we go. Oh, yeah, I can. Thankfully, you can just roll your way through bullets. If it's necessary. So that's no Oh, God, I'm collecting those bloody snaggletooths again. Those worthless snaggletooths. Can't get the treasure just yet. Oh, shit, it turned. It turned on me. Literally. I didn't realise I could do that. God damn it. I haven't actually got any health potions. I probably should have got some. The two to. Oh, here we go. Let's some. What actually is this stuff? Destroys one item in direction shown upon returning to town. Oh, that's a wrinkle. Oh, I had no idea this was the th a thing. So you have to position your things carefully. Okay, let's quick move all. But, destroys one item in direction sh Put it there. Put it th that there. And that there? And that there. So hopefully, destroy... The direction shown, that should not actually hurt anything. 
That's really peculiar. But kind of cool. That's, <laughs> that's an interesting little wrinkle to the game. Oh, we've got literally two crappy turrets now to deal with. Nice and straightforward. I think I just lost something down the pit there. Now that red, that red crystal thing looked quite like. What's this? Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Reinecke, a small but an incredibly charming village just north of the crater, and they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for every person, never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to the dungeons for their treasure. Completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside. Just for some gold, some fame, but not I. No, it's all about the questions for me. Brick. And where do these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for that, for the what though. I'm here for the how and the why. He really wants us to know about it as well, doesn't he? Uh, nothing else here. I don't think, anyway. Unless he's got... No. I was hoping he might be hiding something in his tent of... Why has he got a tent? Anyway. So where else have we got? Bottom right is the minimap, so... Taking care of that. Oh, here we go. Something slightly more tasty. Oh, by the looks of it, there's actually a, um, a little sort of forest sub-biome and part of the dungeon, which is a peculiar thing that happens. Give up, give away from my stuff. Look, he's, he's stealing my snaggletooths. What a prick. Not that I really want them, but... I've got them back now, anyway. Get the treasure. Oh, no, it's... Oh, God, what's that going to do? Items must be placed to the left or right of bag, so it has to be on the left-hand side. Uh, this one, top or bottom, so it's already done that automatically. How weird. Anyway. So I've briefly seen this in my previous game. I think in my first go through, um, I, I actually died um, near the end of the first procedure generated dungeon, and that's as far as I got. I've actually not got that much health, have I? I really could do with potions. Oh, careful, he's a bit of a shooter. Ooh, right in the dick! Death by misadventure. So I've lost all the stuff in my backpack, which is a pain. I, could, I should have like rearranged anything valuable and put it in the top. But no. So I've been spurted back down into a new dungeon. So yeah, different to before. And I've got a couple of these lads now. Ow! How did you get me? Ow! It's, facing two of these are not... Ah! God damn it! Ow, for flippin' hell's sake! Well, <laughs> didn't get a chance to actually pick anything up. Oh dear. That wasn't good. I'll probably forget to edit that out now. <laughs> right, here we go again. This time it's a little... Oh my god, I'm terrible. I've completely forgotten how to play now. Right, let's try all this again. Oh, this is a bit more like it. Oh, hello. Right, get rid of you. Could do with a bigger sword, I guess. I wonder if the intention is to actually um, have bought some health potions, but I've got no money. I probably should have only gone for the health potions or the thing. This will presumably be the same as before, so I'm not going to read that. It looks like we're going to go... Oh, god damn it! I'm going to go all the way back. All the way back. I'm just trying to see if there's anything ever in these things. You never know, there might be a health potion. Could definitely do with one. So you can actually look at your backpack now. It was just that previous dungeon where... I think when you've been attacked, and also you're in that original dungeon, that's when you can't check out your backpack mid-dungeon. Let's go over here. Right, get you. So I think most of this stuff is just crap. Um, that won't sell for very much, but I think it could be used as crafting materials. So all is worth... Right. What are you do? Oh, you're another one of those things. Gold runes destroys one item in direction shown upon. That's really quite nasty, actually. And let's actually just take pick all of them up. Um, yeah, we have to hold the button down. In fact, let's. I don't. Want, I don't want anything there, do I? If I want to put that there, gold runes. That's in fact just put that up there. That should sort that out. Now this is just a broken sword. This is a crap 
curse thing. I, th I think that's what they're supposed to be called, curses. Cursed items. Um, is, that, is that good? White stone? I don't know. I'm just going to keep all the, all the most valuable stuff. Hang on, let's grab everything. In the top. Well, no so wa water spear is valuable, glass lenses are valuable, and gold runes are presumably valuable as well, so that should all be good. Nice little wrinkle. Anyway. Ow! Damn it. Right. Cut you. It looks like I am now able to use my pendant. I think it did a little flickery thing there. But I should be okay at the moment. I think I'm... I don't know if I necessarily need to get to the bottom of the dungeon now or not. I think, I think I'm allowed to return to town with my tail between my legs any time I want. I think it's a quick move. Um, quick move all, left bumper, do that. Then both of these are cursed as well. Yeah. Not gonna do any more damage. So let's not worry about the pendant. Let's let's see what um see what else is Oh god, that red stuff looks terrifying. Ow! Bollocks. Tonk, 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 tonk. There. Got you all. Anything else in this room? There's nothing else in this room. Oh, so the red stuff apparently slows you down, but isn't actually killer. Hmm. Alright. Well, that room's that, then. Is that it? Is there any more rooms to explore? I might have to teleport back, then. Although, uh, not, I don't think I've actually been... Oh, there's, there's more rooms. There is more rooms. This dungeon's a bit more major... Oh, piss. A bit more major than I thought. Oh, I'm, I'm just doing terribly all of a sudden. It's going to kill me. Ow! I'm going to have to get out of here. Right. Let's actually do that. Um, oh, I can't. Yet. <laughs> oh, I'm going to... Oh, damn it. Hmm. Come on, stop it. <laughs> oh, I need some health. Now would be a good time to give me some. I haven't actually been up here. Let's... Oh! Hang on, this, this is a health thing. I know this. There we go. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Huh. Well, that, that's one way of getting your health back, I guess. Oh, careful. I'm being a bit more cautious now. I should probably use my shield a bit more often as well. But these... It feels like they shouldn't have to against these pricks. Oh, that's, um... I think that means level 2 or the boss. We'll see. No, it actually just means level 2. Right. <laughs> this is one of those strange devices that the creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich, actually. Almost quite literally rich. For every item you place in this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror. I'm just going to call it the mirror. Uh, keeping it simple. Uh, I do wonder, though. Where do the treasures go ins dropped inside go? Am I getting the best deal here? Right, so now if I put things in the bottom left, I can sell them for some small amount of quid. Which is probably a good good point, because... Yeah, for this, it's tutorialising me there. Which is probably good, because my inventory is getting incredibly busy right now. Uh, so this is level two of the dungeon. Oh, sh Right, so I just did something with my, um, my pendant. Do I just, like, get rid of all my stuff? I think I might have sold all my crap. Huh. I didn't realise I could do that. <laughs> well. Let's actually try that again. What is actually... Hmm. It's definitely selling some stuff. Yeah, well, I've made some space in my inventory. Now we start... Ow! Oh, we're starting to get tonkier baddies now. Well, I'm... Hmm. I shielded it. Oh, this is... Ow! Ow! My god. <laughs> uh, well, I got to level 2. It looks like I have to get to all the way up to level 4 uh, to actually um, defeat the golem boss. Uh, look at that. Look at the stuff I defeated. Um, let's go to town. Uh, let's, let's just put these things on sale. 
spit. I'm fine. Uh, down, down, down. Right, okay, from that direction. So I've, only, I've got 288 quid, and I'm just, I'm just want to try and sort out the potion situation, because clearly I, I do need to work that out, otherwise I'm going nowhere fast. Potions. So, do you want to brew health potion one? No, there we go. Try that again. What are those as well? You also need some other stuff as well, which by the looks of it, I don't think I've discovered. So I that put my health potions in my bag. Can I put them somewhere? Yes, I can. There we go. So if I press right trigger, I can now potionalize. Right, I've also got a second loadout, by the way. Um, but that's my broom, which we first start the game with, so it's a bit pointless. Cool, okay, so I've actually got myself um, some health potions. Um, I'd actually have to start selling things if I want to afford more stuff, like possibly that the blacksmith can provide. Uh, so let me just pop back to my house. Um, and so the so it continues, really. Um, so yeah, we'll stop here. I think we've seen a good chunk of what uh, the game is supposed to be all about. We've seen the main game loop in action. So yeah, this is a Moonlighter is out on the 29th of May for various consoles. Um, check it out. It's cool. It's a lot better than I expected, actually. <laughs> it's really rather charming. Uh, the second half of May is proving to be incredibly good for indie games, as it turns out. Anyway, do um, also check me out on Patreon if you want to help support the channel. So help me um, keep on covering games like this and got all the latest and best new indie games and all that. Uh, and um, See you next time. Bye for now.